Hi guys, and uh, today I have a uh, Cymbidium uh, species repotting with me session for you. Uh, this is my Cymbidium uh, sinense um, Rauche Jones or something like that. I'm not sure the name. Uh, but this is a species um, Cymbidium that I bought uh, last year and it flowered for me uh, this year in um, early spring I think um, and I've done a video for uh, its blooming and um, I'll link that down below for you to check it out but during the summer time um, I was going to report it but um, uh, you know, life happened and <laughs> my report didn't happen. So um, now uh, I think um, because uh, the growth has touching is touching the the rim of the pot, I've decided to before it's too late and still weather is not too cold. Um, so I decided to do it now and um, uh, yeah, because lots of um, leaf fell off from this side this was a full pot but uh, I don't know if it was because of old age or something happened to it so I'm going to um, repot this one into um, uh, this is in bark and that's the media that it has originally came with and it's a very very ooh, strong bark still uh, okay, but because of the situation here, and this is a new growth this year is grown, so I'm giving a more um, space to this one. So I'm going to repot and resituate this one into my um, media of choice, which is um, pumice and um, some other media that I'm going to show you um, into that. Uh, so if you like um, this report with me, please um, join me for this report. So this is the first time since I bought this um, Symbidium. I'm going to take it out of this pot to see how the roots are doing. So as you can see, there are lots of... Um, Lots of uh, sphagnum moss actually in the media, which is surprising. Probably that's why some of the roots have rotted because I've <coughs> watered it. Um, okay, anyway, I'm going to repot it into my media of choice, which is much more. Um, Much more airy. As you can see, this is lots. There is lots of um, sphagnum moss here, but lots of root, dead root here as well. So I don't know if uh, this is really a bad, bad idea. Maybe it's a bad time of year, but almost all of the roots are dead. And I hope nothing bad would happen to this. Okay, I, I, I see that the pseudobulb is not, they're not actually dead, there, except this last one. These back bulbs are not dead, so I'm going to leave it actually. Or maybe I should take this one because. Hmm. There are some dead, dead ones here. Okay, I think there must be actually two. Maybe. I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah, okay. So that has just come off easily 
and I need to take off all of this as well. Okay, so I'm just left with this, which I'm going to cut off all the dead roots as well. And because it's a long, the roots are long, I have to still use something like that long uh, pot. Um, so I'm not going to change this, so I'm going to um, clean and take or cut off all of these dead roots with the sterilized shears. So, and I'm going to wash it after this. Okay, unfortunately, all of the roots are dead, as far as I can see, so I don't know if it's going to recover or not. The thing with this species, uh, Cymbidiums, are beautiful leaves that are stripy and very nice. So I mostly bought it for the leaf and it's supposed to have variegation on the tip which has a tiny bit variegation on the tip um, but it's not too variegated so it's a beautiful beautiful symbolism I hope it's not dying I'll see how it does but this root is almost okay this one is not hmm. kind of So I think I'm going to accept this one, which is a good root, hopefully, and the rest are not good. And I'm going to leave this one as well, because it's firm. So I'm going to... Yeah. Um, I was talking about the cleaning the root and stuff, I think uh, the battery just um, gone, uh, and I had to wait for the battery to recharge so now like few hours after uh, the repot now I'm gonna continue the repot so I've cleaned as you can see clean the root ball and cut everything and um, it's almost clean now and I'm going to repot this back bulb as well in the pot uh, maybe something happens and you know it just sprouts um, a new growth otherwise I can always remove it later on but for uh, this repot I've decided to go ahead and with a semi hydroponic setup um, this um, pot <laughs> a yogurt pot my favorite yogurt pot um, with two uh, holes for drainage I've gone ahead and put um, leka at the bottom but I'm gonna use um, this media which is two parts pumice uh, bonsai uh, grade pumice one part um, academa and one part uh, kyodema uh, so I'm going to mix these and I'm going to use it for this uh, repotting this media and I'm not going to wash it because um, you know this is a terrestrial or, um, orchid and um, some people even put compost for um, as part of their um, media for symbidiums and so that should be fine so and because it's a small root 
uh, at the moment I can use this until it grows bigger and probably next year when I'm repotting it I'll do that so for now I can just go ahead and fill up the media around it I have prepared um, some rain water and um, uh, a few drops of um, super thrive in it for uh, the first watering or filling the reservoir uh, which I'm going to do after repotting after finishing the uh, filling the media uh, which that helps with growing um, roots and um, yeah, I think that's a good idea for because it uh, doesn't have that many roots as you've noticed. Um, so I'm trying to do this, put put the orchid in the middle and fill up around it. With dry media. But once I finish wood and um, you know, repotting, I put water in the reservoir. Yeah, I think it's it's okay now. Media is quite nicely fitted, and try not to bury the pseudobulbs. As you can see, I tried to just you know to put the media up to like uh, one third of uh, suitable. So then it's not buried. And it is almost firm, but it has lots of air pocket because the, uh, the media is very airy. And I put the date on my tag um, and put the tag where I can see the these holes so then I know where is where are the, the holes now I can go ahead and uh, water water it with the water rain water as I said before and with super dry thrive in it done nice and clean and I'll monitor for new roots and um, new growth so this was the new growth and so I left uh, a little bit of space here so then it grows it can grow very well and I potted the back bulb here so it looks much better than previous uh, one. So I hope you uh, you've enjoyed my report um, report session, and um, if you did, please subscribe to my channel uh, for updates uh, in future for this kind of um, uh, you know orchids and um, updates on how 
um, they will progress uh, in the future and also like this um, video uh, and um, I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.